Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl, Sakura Win here, back with My Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time Let's Play. Last time we began the episode with Max just getting out of bed and doing her usual morning routine, which is, well, one, take a selfie for fun, and then go ahead and take a shower. And we did stop to say hi to everybody along the way, but when we came in here to the showers, we actually saw Kate who is going through a lot right now, and she just asked that we bring back her book that we had borrowed. And yeah, we also got to see how cruel Victoria freaking is. She's an awful person, <laughs> because she decided to write the URL to Kate's video when she, she's apparently doing something scandalous in. She decided to write the URL all over the mirror, but we erased it, so Kate won't have to suffer too much, but it's already viral, apparently. Again, exactly why I avoid social media. It's ridiculous. Anyway, yes, now we have to go back to the dorm, which is this way. Right? I'm going the wrong way. My room is down this hall. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I knock. Will she be woman enough to answer? Apparently not. Yeah, frickin'. Again, I don't need to say it, you know? You already know, I need to say nothing. I could, but I don't need to. It's her... <clears throat> excuse me, her whole attitude just speaks for itself. She's horrible. Oh, no. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Nathan! Crap. crap up? After I find Kate's book. Yeah. Let's uh be nice and find it. Now where is it? Ah. Uh. Aha! Of course Crud. I spilled soda on Kate's book. Not soda! Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Yeah, really. Rewind! There. Now, move the glass. On, foul soft drink. <laughs> foul soft drink. I like Max. She's funny. You're mine. Yeah, okay. Now we should get dressed, right? Yes, let's get dressed. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. <laughs> couldn't even rewind time. Yeah. That's me, too. I'll just throw on whatever. Take this back to Kate before I'm late. What's this? If I have to worry about being late anymore. Yeah. Oh, sorry to cut you off, Max. Ooh. If it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Seriously, what in the world? Yeah, and he ruined the memorial wall. Whoa, what's this? More messages? Victoria, of course. Oh no. For making fun of her. Bitch. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, you can't even really. I was trying to read it. Well, whatever. <sighs> what a bitch. Anyway. Let's, uh, go find Kate, I guess. Okay, Kate, where are you? Your room... Oh, no. Keep... What does that say? Keep your mouth shut about everything. Or, I'm coming for your... Coming for your ass, I know where you sleep, of course. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Yeah. But it could be anybody. Who the heck knows? I'm doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. No kidding, Max. Already. Yeah, things are already pretty bad anyway. All right. Kate. You in there? Yeah. At least she's nice. Come in, Max. Thanks. At least she's freaking nice. You know that? Kate's a nice girl. this 
Kate's art is perfect. Aww. That is cute. Is so fun and colorful. That's a cute style there, Kate. Yeah. Oh, she covered the... Why did she cover up the mirror? Oh, dang, she Kate. Things are getting that bad for you, huh? I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Aw, that's a nice picture. Oh, little rabbit! Photo. Most definitely. It's so cute! Aww. I heard rabbits are super messy, but they're so fluffy and cute. I can't help myself. They're adorable. That is the cutest bunny ever. Oh, field of view. Aww, so cute. So adorable. Although, whenever I see rabbits, I think of Sailor Moon, because, you know, Usagi, Tsukino, Rabbit of the Moon. Anyway, what's this? Left out amnation. Uh, that rabbit is just so cute. What other stuff is in here, Kate? Okay? Hope you don't mind. Just exploring a little. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. Aww. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Hmm. Leaflet. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Nah. She doesn't seem the type, really. Violin. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. <sighs> Wonder why. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Please. Poor Kate, she's... She's in her personal hell right now. Pretty much. Is that everything in here? Issues. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Oh man. Kate really has a doting father. Aww. Guess she's daddy's little girl, huh? That's really cute. Is that the picture we looked at? I had yeah. No idea that Kate okay. Hung out with Alyssa and Stella. What's that drawing? Good lord. Oh, Kate. It's like H.R. Geiger period. Why are you drawing something like that? That's demented. Poor thing. There's a photo up there. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Oh, that's her family, I guess. Her sisters, I'm guessing. Aw. Alright, well, let's um give Kate her book. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because he's a jerk, and well, hmm, I wonder what would be best. I hate bullies, so it's what I want to go with. David Madsen should know better. I was yeah. hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Yeah, fill us in. He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Oh. Um. Okay, why does he think that? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Oh, right. Of course. Is this for me? I know this sucks, uh, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. There has to be something. I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, man. Um. Well. That. 
Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I yeah, what happened? One sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Okay. Yeah, that's not enough. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't mm -hmm. get wasted, ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Yeah. Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan? Oh, man. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. You shouldn't have. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Seriously. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Right. I'm listening. Keep going. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And Jesus. And Uh and and that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So Jesus Kate a video of you at the party. I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus. Maybe. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get Very. the video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, <sighs> we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Yeah. She's kind of right, though. Once something is on the internet... You can put my book here near my bag. There's no getting rid of it. God, so she's saying basically she was raped. God, this poor thing. I'm so sorry, Kate. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Sure. Sorry, Kate, Feel free, anything. What can I do to help? I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. I'm going with hurt you. Should I go to the police? Oh! Oh, God. I would say yes, but she doesn't have any proof. It's he said, she said. Oh! Kate! Ah! Oh. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Oh, I'm trying to think. If I were in this situation, what would I do? What? I would want to go to the police. But... Being there, the Prescott family has so much money, and they're a powerful group. <sighs> they pretty much own Blackwell. Uh, she's got to have proof, or they won't believe it. So, oh, please, let this be right. Look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. They're too powerful. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Too true. But I know I was drugged. That's I know, I but you gotta prove it. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. Exactly. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no. No, Kate. Don't, don't be hopeless, you. please. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh. 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 God, Kate. Good job, Dr. Max. Yeah. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Oh, I, part of me is tempted to go back. Oh. Did I or shouldn't I? Oh. Oh god, I'm gonna have to leave it the way it is. I'm sorry, Kate. I really am. I just, I hope that I'm telling you the right thing. But if she did go to the police, the Prescotts have so much money and are so powerful in the Blackwell community. 
they would just bash her even more and say she's lying. So you have to have solid proof before anybody would actually believe what Nathan and someone else maybe probably did. Chloe, what now? Food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting, yay breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> well, at least Chloe is happy, but Kate's, like I said, she is going through emotional hell right now. And there's nothing anyone can really do. We can try our best, but all we can do is try and help her. But I think I made the right call. I mean, you've got to prove that Nathan did something before they can actually press charges and then they'll believe her. Oh, please let me have said the right thing to her. She's such a nice girl. I mean, come on. She follows the rules, as far as we know. She's polite. Reads the Bible. Come on. She seems to be a very level-headed person, so I don't know why anybody would actually believe that she would pull this and go around kissing guys. Oh, is that a is that a squirrel I saw? Oh, Taylor, hi. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? What? Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're fine. Please. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate's video. Kate, what do you know? I'm really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Thank you. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. You know what? Why don't you consider somebody else's feelings? You know that? Instead of just being with a hip crowd and just doing whatever. You know, think of somebody else. Hang out with Victoria. She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Really? Bossy? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Oh. We've had our talk. Sorry. Can I talk to her again? Taylor, conversation over. Apparently, I can no longer speak to her. Oh, wow. Look at that view. That's gorgeous. Well done. Well done, Donut. I like that. That's beautiful. What's that on the ground? Football? <laughs> Blackwell have at least one no football zone. <laughs> Apparently not, huh? Is there any photos or anything I can take around here? Oh. <laughs> the stuff we used to cover Victorian paint. <laughs> she so deserved it. That's what she gets for a rotten attitude. Alright. I guess there's nothing else around here. I wonder, can I... Oh. The birds are flocking around Samuel. <laughs> can I take a photo or not? No? Would be cool if we could, though. Alright, hello. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Yeah. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. Yeah, that is pretty cool. In the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Oh. What animals do you see in the forest? Well, I saw a doe. I laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. 
Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Ah. Sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> My spirit animal is a squirrel. A squirrel. Yeah, if you'll notice, Max has a doe on her t-shirt under her jacket. What about the snow, though? What did you, what did think, you think of that? that? Freak snow shower yesterday. Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Okay. Well, talk to you later. To get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. <laughs> Bye. He's weird, but he's nice. He seems harmless to me. I wonder if I could take a photo of the birds or something now. Apparently not. Aww. Usually there's a photo op around here. Oh no, not again. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student of Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final play warning. Well now. <laughs> I swear there was an animal around here though. That I could take a picture of. What's this? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh! Clever! I like that. Oh no! I chased it away by accident. Aww. I better oh. not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Oh, I get it. Come on, little squirrel. Aha! Okay. Photo. Yes. I knew it. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. That's clever, though. You would never think to check the trash to get the little creature to come out. How cute. Thank you. Trophy. I appreciate it. So that's how. <laughs> I thought there was a picture around here. I think there's one in episode 3 as well. Alright. I think we've spent enough time around Blackwell. Oh. Warren. Hello. I almost forgot. Warren. You do appear here, don't you? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. <laughs> I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Big. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm a personal superhero. Yeah. A real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Very. You left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh, Chloe. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. Yeah, I didn't expect to run into each other. Last up in that truck like a rock star. Which yeah. Is question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Oh. Did I tell him? Hmm. I guess we can tell him, yeah, I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Yeah. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that Very. Snowfall yesterday. Oh, yeah. Dystopia. That drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go <laughs> rape. <laughs> oh. Well. Why not? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. I don't, well, but I since we a war oh, one. The info. Thanks. Is that all? Okay then. 
Well, thanks, Warren. That was a uh, nice of you to invite me. And I'm glad we got the chance to thank you for what you did. Alright, well, I guess it's off to meet Chloe. So, off we go. To the bus. <laughs> Pretty eventful morning, definitely. <laughs> I just feel so bad for Kate, though. She's... I just hope we can do something to help her. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Why are they? It has something to do with Kate. It must. Rachel. Maybe. Oh. That was Dana on the steps, wasn't it? Either that or somebody who looks like her. Okay. Hi there. Off we go. Music. Pretty good music again. <laughs> They've done pretty good with the soundtrack. Again, I like the guitar. <laughs> huh. Not bad. Again, I also hope there's no copyright for it. Jeez. I didn't for episode one or anything, so... But, you never know with YouTube, right? You know, I did the exact same thing when I was in school. I would try to listen to music on the bus. <sighs> so many shops, wow. <laughs> Naturally. That's a good view of them. Um, I want to say it's mountains in the background there. The graphics of this game are just... In my opinion, really good. And a very unique style. Ah, I think we've made it to our destination. Finally. Alright. Two Whales Diner, everybody off. Cool. Yep. Open 24 hours. Seems like a nice place to get a bite to eat. Okay. I'm back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Yeah, I'll bet. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop this part here, and next time we'll go into the diner and have a bite to eat while we wait for Chloe, I guess. And say hi to her mom, too. But, yeah. Until then, see you guys later.